Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1693. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure if I already read this before or not. Looks new to me. I have a number, SCP-1693. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. A saving population of five SCP-1693 infected D-class personnel, collectively designated SCP-1693-1, is to be maintained at Sector 25 inside humanoid containment units, but that have been modified in accordance with the specifications listed in document SCP-1693-HCUSA. No Foundation Mem- Personnel and or members of the public are to be exposed to vocalizations or recorded vocalizations of confirmed or suspected SCP-1693-1 instances, including non-audio methods such as physical transcripts or digital audio of visualization. All testing or observation of SCP-1693 and SCP-1693-1 instances beyond that which is required for maintained containment is presently disallowed and any attempt to do so is to be considered a containment breach. D-class personnel are to be exposed to SCP-1693 instances of SCP-1693-1 order vocalizations only as required to replenish SCP-1693-1 instances. <sighs> SCP-1693 HCUSA defines, in brief, a humanoid containment unit that is modified to include FAV classification level 15 soundproofing. No audio or video monitoring equipment is maintained in or around the containment unit. Millimeter wave remote biometric monitoring equipment is maintained to monitor the physical health of contained SCP-1693-1 instances. A soundproofed antechamber is to be established at the entry point to each, to each containment unit. Delivery and collection of consumables and waste to and from each unit is to be achieved via automated systems. Any maintenance of the containment unit is that requires entry in, into the interior requires first transfer or termination of the Contained instance of SCP-1693-1. D-class personnel assigned to become an instance of SCP-1693-1 are to be admitted entry into the entrance chamber of the containment unit and of an existing SCP-1693-1 instance and provide via remote to control a copy of SCP-1693-DA-1 in hard copy or speech instance as required by the D-class personnel's level of literacy. For details of the specific process for replenishment of SCP-1693-1 instances is to be found in document SCP-1693 HCUSA. Document SCP-1693-1. Well, I can't read apparently. Document SCP-1693 DA1 must not be reviewed by any person other than D-class personnel assigned to become an instance of SCP-1693-1. Exposure to documents of SCP-1693 DA1 outside of these conditions is considered a containment breach. In the event of a containment breach, all instances of SCP-1693-1 affected and all potentially exposed by the National Personnel and members of the Republic are to be terminated. Description. SCP-1693 is an orally infectious form of Alzheimer's disease. The physical nature of the infection is currently unknown. Other potential infection vectors such as nonverbal communication are currently unknown. The efficacy of amnesics as a method of inoculation or cure is unknown. Incubation period is unknown, but hypothesized to be in the order of 3-5 to five minutes following initial exposure. The content of document SCP-1693 DA1 is unknown and is considered a possible infection and vector. Information and regarding the initial containment of SCP-1693 and its establishment of the current containment procedure is missing the following the containment breach of SCP-blank and 19-blank. 
and the subsequent corruption of database information and hardcover destruction that followed. And here we have SCP 6093 D A1 sealed by order of 9603A. And here we have the document. My name is Jake Williamson. I am 68 years old. I have one of those numbers they give you, but I have forgotten it a long time ago. I'm writing to tell you that you have won the lottery. My friend, like me, you have found yourself in a bad place. You've done the crime, and now you're doing your time. You've been sentenced to die, but you got brought here instead. Confusing, isn't it? Well, I've had a lot of time to think about what this place is. I've been here for a long time, after all. A lot of time on your own and gives you a lot of time to think. What I've come up with is this. This is a prison, but not for us. It's a prison for what uh, for much worse things. Diseases. It's a kind of hospital, and we are the patients. We're here for them to infect so they can poke and prop and just see what bits fall off and when. Did you know the Nazis did that at the camps? Gives you an idea of what kind of people we're dealing with, doesn't it? None of that really matters though, because you've lucked out just like I did. They thought they were giving you some really bad disease. One that rots your head and makes you crazy. You know the one. The one that old people get. Old people like me. Come to think of it. But I was a young man when they put me in here. With the intention of catching the crazy off the man they had in here before me. Except he wasn't crazy, and he told me everything. He told me the truth. The disease doesn't exist. Maybe it was real once upon a time, but I can tell you this. It's not real here, and now? Oh, none of non these cells anyways. They either had it and they lost it, or they never had it in the first place. Maybe it cured itself along the way. Maybe they just got it wrong way back at the start. Who knows? Who cares, right? So for the last 30 or so years, I've been in here on my own, perfectly sane. Well, as sane as you can be on your own for so long. Watch out for that. Read the books. Watch the movies. They've been kind enough to sock the place up. Keep your mind working. You don't want to get crazy. Get the crazy for real. 30 odd years is pretty good for a guy who was sentenced to die, don't you think? Whatever you do, don't let them find out you're sane. They don't ever come inside and not out watching or listening. But they move you from cell to cell sometimes. They knock you out first. And they come in to clean up the place when you die. So don't write anything down. Don't leave any marks on the wall. Don't trash your cell. Don't do anything that makes them think you're anything but a man or woman, I suppose, who has gone funny in the head before your time. You would, you owe it to us all to keep the roots going. After you'll, you've read this, you'll, be sent, you'll get sent inside the cell. You'll meet someone who's probably on their way out. They might be in a bad way, so do a kind thing and help them along, would you? There's no medical treatment here, no painkillers, no relief. If the guy's suffering, head in for him, and then settle down for a nice, long, peaceful life. If you're lucky. Good luck, whoever you are. If you find any juicy pictures in the books you find in there, be sure to leave them clean for the next guy. And I have a laugh at those idiots who locked you in here. Yours, Jake Williamson. I did not like doing that voice. That was SCP 1693. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!